Hello guys, in the Quick Movies channel for movie summaries, do not forget to subscribe for more. Shuri was trying to recreate herbs after all herbs in Wakanda were burnt by Jadaka or Killmonger Chala was critically ill right now he needed the herbs soon Shuri tried to use all technologies in Wakanda but she failed the Queen Ramonda came to tell her that. Chala had passed away all people of Wakanda and all relatives of Hala were deeply saddened by his death they took the Black Panther to his last resting place. One year later the Queen Ramonda attended a meeting of the United Nations in that meeting Wakanda was pressured by other nations to share the vibranium as what Chella promised the Queen Ramonda told them that Wakanda refused to share the vibranium with other nations she was. Afraid that the vibranium was misused as weapons to kill each other this decision was also made after considering the fact that Wakanda had lost the Black Panther as their protector but despite that fact it didn't mean that Wakanda had become a weak nation they had strengthened there defense instead to protect the vibranium as the evidence Okoye and the Dora Melange had defeated and arrested the French army who tried to steal the vibranium in Wakanda's mine of vibranium with the evidence of the arrest of the army the Queen Raimonda warned everyone to not underestimate Wakanda especially not to misuse the vibranium illegally in. The Atlantic Ocean at night the CIA agents used the new vibranium detector in their expedition to find vibranium in the ocean with the help of the detection device they found the minor vibranium that they were looking for some divers were ordered to get at the bottom of the ocean to inspect the mine but not long. After that the divers were gone mysteriously one by by one a few minutes later a sound of singing came from the bottom of the ocean the sound hypnotized all members of the ship's crew to jump into the ocean after that some mysterious blue-skinned people climbed the ship and killed all. CIA agents there hundreds of people were killed in that incident only the leader of the expedition Valentina who managed to save herself after that incident the CIA agents accused Wakanda as the killer in that mass killing at night the Queen Ramonda asked Shuri. To burn the white cloaks with her as a symbol that they had accepted the death of Hala but Shiri refuted because she still mourned him in the darkness suddenly something came from the lake area it was Neymar the leader of the blue skin people's force who attacked the CIA agents before the Queen Ramonda Dan Shuri were surprised that Neymar could get through the advanced security of Wakanda Neymar came to protest to Wakanda he blamed Chella who had revealed the existence of vibranium to the outside world because of him there were many people who tried to steal the vibranium even at the bottom of the ocean apparently there was also a miner. Vibranium in Neymar's place like in Wakanda he told the Queen Ramonda to catch the scientists who had invented the vibranium detector if the Queen Ramonda refused Neymar and his army would attack Wakanda the next day Shuri and Okoye met Agent Ross to find the identity of the scientist that was mentioned by Neymar from Asia Ross they received an information that the scientist who had invented the vibranium detector was a MIT student called Rory Williams sure he asked Riri to go to Wakanda with them before leaving Riri took Shuri and Okoye to her base to pack her things she did all of our research. Is there Shuri and Okoye were amazed by them before they left the FBI suddenly came to surrounded various space Shuri ran away by using a motorcycle Okoye ran away by using Riri's car and Riri ran away by using an iron heart suit that she made when they managed to escape from the FBI they were suddenly attacked. By Neymar's army the leaders of the army that were called Attila and Namora killed all the FBI personnel and fought Okoye who was their lone Okoye was finally defeated because she couldn't fight all their crew alone Riri and Shuri then were kidnapped and brought by Neymar's army to an underwater kingdom that was called. Talakan in Wakanda Okoye reported about everything that had happened she was defeated by Neymar's army when she was trying to protect Princess Shuri unfortunately the Queen Ramonda didn't accept her excuse Okoye was fired from the Dorma Lodge the Queen Ramonda visited Nakia who lived in Haiti she told her that Shuri had been kidnapped so she asked for her help to find Shuri not long after that Nakia received an information about the location of the Talakan kingdom from local people at the same time Shuri was brought to meet Neymar Neymar told Shuri about his background apparently he had lived for hundreds of years back then Neymar's mother who was pregnant suffered from a mysterious disease she and other local people were given a remedy in the form of liquid herb that was found at the bottom of the sea the herb was similar to the herb in Wakanda except this one was blue after Neymar's mother and the local people drank the remedy from the tradition national doctor their skin turned into blue they also couldn't breathe normally in the land because of that Neymar was given birth to in the ocean he was the first person who was born after that mysterious incident Neymar grew as a special child he was gifted with a special superpower and 
Small wings on his legs before Neymar's mother died she said that she wanted to be buried in her village because of that Neymar and others came to the land to bury his mother but when they arrived at the village they were surprised to see many villagers were being enslaved by the Spanish colonial army Neymar was. Curious to see that so he killed all of them since that incident Neymar hated the human race he had a big ambition to rule the world he asked Wakanda to work together with him if Wakanda refused they would be the first nation that would be destroyed by Neymar then Neymar. Invited Shuri to go see the beautiful view in Talakan Kingdom he also gave Shuri a bracelet because she was the first human who saw the Talakan Kingdom during their conversation Neymar suddenly received a call from the Queen Ramonda turned out it was only a strategy after Neymar left Nakia came to rescue Shuri. And Riri what Nakia had done was seen as a war declaration by Neymar he gathered his army to attack Wakanda and Wakanda people lived their life peacefully Mbaku was patrolling the area and Ikea was meeting Okoye not long after that Neymar and his army broke down the defensive wall of Wakanda they attacked Wakanda. From many directions that caused difficulties for them the Queen Ramonda then ordered her army to evacuate all people who survived from that attack Baku was trying to fight Neymar's army but he was finally defeated by Neymar. Foreign came with an airplane and shot Neymar but she failed because Neymar moved so fast when he was underwater Neymar attacked them with water that drowned the Queen Ramonda and Riri Williams the Queen Ramonda who was still conscious. Tried to save Riri but unfortunately she died because of it Neymar didn't regret what he did he warned Wakanda that he would come back in a week if they refused to bring Riri Williams to him the death of the Queen Ramonda made sure he become the only succession to the throne who was still alive Shuri who was still enraged did Moana mourn for too long she tried to continue her research on the herbs so she could have the superpower of Black Panther to revenge the Talakan kingdom Shuri used a piece of bracelet that Neymar gave her she thought the bracelet was also made by herbs Shuri and Riri. Worked together to create various weapons Shuri finished the new suit of the Dora Melange which was equipped with many weapons and defenses Riri also tried to upgrade the Iron Heart suit so it could be used in the bowel Shuri's effort wasn't useless she finally found the right formula to regrow the herbs. Nakia dissolved the herb and gave it to Shuri according to the tradition Shuri was sent to the world of the ancestors but she didn't find the Queen Ramonda there instead she found her cousin Killmonger Shuri was surprised and mad when she met Killmander she felt like she was left by her ancestors she also despised Killmander but Killmonger told her that they met there because they were the same they both had a big ambition to take a revenge Killmonger also told her that all former Black Panthers were weak people he burnt all the herbs so there wouldn't be the next Black Panther but now he saw a strong Black Panther in Shuri after that Shuri woke up and became mad because she didn't meet her ancestors Nakia thought that their experiment had failed but turned out Shuri already had the Black Panther for power with that superpower Shuri was more convinced to take a revenge, music, Baka disagreed with Shuri's decision at first but sure he didn't want to listen to him the next day the army of Wakanda prepared themselves to attack the Talakan kingdom, they were heading to Talakan by using a ship as they arrived in the middle of the ocean Shuri lured Neymar and his army to go to the surface of the water the bow between two kingdoms finally began in the beginning of the battle Wakanda attacked Talakan. Relentlessly they just realized that there was a lot of members of Talakan's army from other directions Riri with her Ironheart suit and Shuri with her Black Panther suit fought Neymar directly Shuri managed to trap Neymar by luring him to get into the airplane that she had prepared to try out Neymar Shuri. Planned to take Neymar to a desert so they could have a fight there after finding out that Neymar had been caught Baku ordered the Wakanda army to retreat but Nomura blew their ship machine up so they couldn't go anywhere in that situation the Talakan army turned things around and surrounded the Wakanda army. You don't speak. At the same time Neymar and Shuri got into a fierce bow in a hot desert Neymar was powerful he still could fight and stab Shuri with a spear after that normally tried to return to the ocean because he badly needed water. Sure he managed to take the spear out of her body and burn Neymar's body, music, music, when she tried to kill Neymar she suddenly had a vision from the queen. Romanda the queen asked Shuri to let Neymar go because she didn't want any bloodshed in their battle Neymar finally submitted to Shuri and agreed to be Wakanda's ally because of that decision the Talakan army and the Wakanda army had become ally and reconciled with each other after that Ba Wakanda finally. 
regrew their herbs before leaving Wakanda. Shuri gave Riri a carp as a farewell gift in Talik and Namor was mad at Neymar because he had given up to Wakanda. Neymar told her that someday Wakanda would need a help from Talik and because they didn't have another ally from the outside world they could take advantage of that situation to revenge. Humans in the outside world in Wakanda while Shuri was gone Baka usurped the throne Shuri was visiting Nakia in Haiti at that moment she burnt a white cloak like what her mother wanted back then it was assembled that she had accepted the death of her mother and brother apparently Nakia had a son with Chala. Chala agreed to raise their son in Haiti so he wouldn't be bothered by politics in Wakanda their son was called Tizat his real name was Prince Chala.